Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson 4 and today I'm gonna show you guys my combat record from Black Ops 1. Hopefully, you guys like them because all these stats are actually legit. No mods, no hacks, no cheats. All of them were legit. Just like in Modern Warfare 3. I don't cheat. I don't like that, guys. I don't like to mod. Everything has to be straight up. If not, what's the point of being here and showing you guys what the actual things are in Call of Duty? So, yeah, I wouldn't make any sense. So anyways, I'm a straight up player and I don't use cheats, hacks, or mods. All these records were pretty much done well done. You know, they're they're pretty much legit. Another extra thing about me and Black Ops 1 guys is I always say I used to be ranked in the top 15 in both Domination and Team Deathmatch for a whole week and a half. Here in Black Ops 1. Ranked top 15. And I would average like around 750 points per game, I'm thinking. I think that's what it said there when I was ranked that high. I was averaging around 750 points per game. That's a lot of freaking points. And I will keep on calling chopper gunners, um, blackbirds, uh, dogs. It was like back-to-back -back matches. The most chopper gunners I ever called in one game was actually five. You can call it in five. It is possible. I tried it. It is possible. But the fifth one actually ended up like uh, like three kills and the game ended. So it was like four and a half then somehow some point somewhere like in that route so yeah enough about history hopefully you guys like my combat record so let's move on forward but before we go into that check out my player card do you guys like the little clown <laughs> i mean i know most of you guys are still confused about this but my favorite character of all time in video gaming is sweet tooth that guy is very original you know pretty much of a serial killer um but overall i liked his you know character it's pretty cool it's pretty awesome very original by twisted metal and I like Twisted Metal also, so yeah, if you guys have played Twisted Metal, you guys don't understand, but yeah, that's what I was aiming for, and it looks pretty much legit. You know, I wasn't trying to copy anybody out there with a player card, so yeah. So moving on to the combat record, we got ourselves our combat record. Pretty much I played for 11 days, which I'm very surprised because I feel like I've played a lot longer than that. I mean, I played from the month of February all the way to the months of when Modern Warfare 3 was released. So it's pretty surprising. Uh, another thing that's very noticeable, guys, for sure, my total wins and total losses. Yes, I know it's pathetic, but y'all gotta see this. I carried noobs 24-7 on ground war, guys. I carried them against clans, pub stompers, campers. I really ha didn't have a problem with them because they're so easy to kill. Actually, they would give me the kills to my kill streaks, but um. That's the reason I lost. I carried way too many noobs that I ended up losing, but I ended up with a positive record. I couldn't do I couldn't do anything in domination if my teammates were not moving. All I can do is move myself, call in a top burger, and hope for the best for these guys to actually move at some point. So that's why I ended up losing, guys. I have so many noobs to carry, so much things to prove by myself solo that nobody even better than I. Like like, this guy's doing so good, let's do good ourselves. Like, nobody freaking motivate themselves. I mean, I'm unbelievable. I'm calling in blackbirds, dogs, and chopper gunners, and nobody wants to freaking win. Pissed me off so much, man. I, I just... Those days, man. Really. So, I pretty much rolled solo in Ground War, guys. I never took a clan in, inside. Maybe, like, towards the end, because, you know, there was nothing to do anymore, since there was nothing to prove. But, um... 90% of the time, I'll go in solo in Ground War. 90% of the time. Another thing that's really much noticeable here, guys, is my win streak. Of course, I'm pretty much low compared to my Modern Warfare 3 win streak, which was a 56. So, yeah. 14 because of the Ground War thing that, that month that I went in the top 15 in the whole world. So, that's part of it. So, here are my personal best uh, stats. Most kills in the game was 98. The total record was actually 98 and 18. Or 98 and 26. I'm not sure. Because I know there was another gameplay where I ended up with 96 kills and 28 deaths or something. I, I know it's 20 plus, so I'm not sure which one's, uh, it, which one's the real actual stat. But I know it was like around under 20 deaths. And that gameplay, I actually called in the five chopper gunners in a domination in jungle. And this gameplay is actually my best gameplay of all time. I mean, 98 kills. It has to be the highest one. I've never achieved that. Not even in Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3, my highest kill number was 81. Black Ops 2, my highest kill number was 91, I'm thinking. Or 95, I forgot which one it was. But 
I know I was very up there in Black Ops. Yeah, I almost achieved it. But nowhere in my time here in Call of Duty, guys, have I ever achieved 100 kills. Never. Because I like rushing around, that's why. I don't like staying in the corner like, oh, let me get my kill streak by just staying here. Like, no. I like to go out there and rush, man. I'm a rusher. That's what I do. So that's why I never achieve 100 kills or achieve so many, you know, gameplays back to back that were good because I'm always rushing out there. I'm not like Ali A, Faggy A, you know. I'm not like Faggy A. I'm not like T, you know, F Martin. I'm not like all those people because all these people camp for the kill streaks. I don't. I like rush out there. So that's pretty much the big difference between me and them. Uh, another stat that's pretty much impressive. Uh, oops, I moved it. Personal. My Semtex sticks. I really don't have any kills with the Semtex. I never used the Semtex in Black Ops 1. Never at all. Um, most one shot one kills. That was pretty much a sniper. Another stat. Any other stat out there? Longest win streak was 14, as I told you guys before. That happened in the month of when I was ranking the top 15 in the whole world for both domination and team deathmatch. Longest kill streak was 30. Now that was pretty much impressive. Um, I would have already cheaped a nuke right there, and that was actually legit just gun kills. I kept picking up several weapons before I even reached 30. I forgot I forgot which gameplay it was, but for sure it wasn't the one with the 98 kills. I know there was another one. Oh, that was the time when I went 59 and 1. That, that gameplay is actually still around. It's in my uh, vault. I'll show you guys right now uh, which gameplay it is, but uh, let's move on to the next ones. Best kill and death ratio, 59 and 0. That gameplay is actually still around. It's in my vault. I might show it again because I already uploaded before, but I'll re-upload it so you guys can see you know, my recent subs. So you guys can see my 59 and 1 uh, gameplay. And that's, that. Um, the thing about that is that it actually shows the date. So you can pretty much tell it's legit. Uh, it's actually 100%. Of course, that was when I sniped at one point when I went like 21 and 0. Uh, most medals, 77. Um, most kills with stolen weapons, 24. <laughs> oh, God, I remember that one. Um, I would always used to pick up golden weapons. And I'm thinking that was the time when I picked up a regular AK-47. And I achieved several kills in that place when it was called um, WMD. I think it was in WDM, WMD that was you know, pretty much achievable. Uh, had so many long range kills. Most kills while crouched was 22. Most kills while prone, 14. More, most kill streaks rewards earned was 18. What, in one game? Holy shit. That's a many freaking kill streaks. Unless that was that, it was that time when I called in so many spy planes. Damn. So that's pretty much my personal best stats right there, guys. Hopefully you guys like them. Combat summary. Um, there it is. My kill death ratio, guys. 2.30. The actual last stat before Modern Warfare 3 was 2.36. 2.36, guys. Legit stats. And I know my, it says my favorite weapon used to be the stoner, but that was before the update. Right now, right now is actually the AK-47U, but it's not the stoner. Another thing that's pretty much impressive, my best kill streak is still 30, headshots, 2,670, yeah, that's pretty much in my combat submarine, but I can see something else, let me see, kill, de kill and death ratio with my weapons, um, PSG1, had a 2.88, 2,070 kills out of 719 deaths, it's pretty much impressive right there, my commando stats, um, pretty much quite terrible I really didn't like my commando stats the farmers have a 2.08 take 47 have a 782 out of 378 2.07 the Galil I actually used it 1.89 KD my AK 74 u 12,242 deaths I mean kills not deaths guys and I have a KD of a 1.83 but the very impressive thing about the AK 74 u is actually that this weapon actually put me on the top 15 in the whole world for both domination and team deathmatch. So I don't understand how, why am I so low with this freaking gun. Maybe because of that one time when I faced so many clans in one day. That's when I actually dropped from the top 15. So the AUG is there. Uh, the stoner. The stoner actually dropped after they freaking updated. I hated that they did that. That was in the month of May of 2011. The accuracy, total kills, total kills with the Stoner AK 74U, and then it's the Famas and a bunch of average guns. So, as you can see here, guys, I've only used two guns in Black Ops 1, maybe a little bit on the Famas. That's it. I never switched over to another gun. If there's some kills on some other guns because I lately used them, that's why. But overall, guys, it was only the AK 74U and the Stoner 63. 
The stone I only used it from the months of February to May. So, yeah. That's when I switched over to the AKC-4U in the summer. Total deaths, 9,000, 6,000. We already saw that. Headshot, times killed by. I was mostly killed by the Famas. Yeah. The AK-74U was a low number, which is pretty much impressive. That means that nobody out there used the freaking AK-74U. So I'm a very unique guy, guys, if I keep using underdog weapons like that. What else do we have? Uh, most kills, time, uh, grenade quit. Oh, this one is another impressive one, guys. 2,295 kills with the frag grenade. And then, here, here we go. I tossed in... 12,314 grenades into the battlefield. That's a lot of freaking grenades. And that's actually the amount of games that I've actually played almost. Actually, it is because I always throw a grenade first before I even enter into, into some freaking hallway. And maybe even double that. So, yeah, I always, always throw like around like, several grenades after I spawn. So, that's a lot of times used to freaking equipment. So, that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't have to show you anything else. My kill streaks. Spy plane, chopper gunner. Damn, I used 5,270 chopper gunners. Killed by, I usually was killed by that pomegranate strike because I would usually kill myself with that shit. <laughs> kill streak used by spy plane, blackbird, chopper gunner, and pomegranate strike, and then there's the dogs right there. I used the care package? When the hell did I even use the care package? I'm surprised by that. The kills with. Yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, yeah, no, I don't think there's nothing else to show you. <clears throat> Excuse me. My file share. Actually, I have some games saved up here. As you can see, look at the date and time. 8-2-2011. 8-5-2011. All of these were during that year when Black Ops 1 was a shit. So all of these are legit, guys. They're not recently. They are not recently. So you can pretty much tell that I'm not lying here. 59 and 1. There's the one where I actually went 59 and 0. Um, 65 and 8. 49, 49 and 4. <clears throat> All of them rushing, by the way. This one's fucking funny. <laughs> 5 kills with 1 grenade. So, that's it, guys. Hopefully, you guys like my combat record. And hopefully, you guys like to stay here for the Call of Duty gameplays. And, um, yeah, I'll miss Black Ops 1 a lot because that's this is where I actually started the Call of Duty series. So, yeah. Pretty much fun times, guys. I'll miss the AK-74 you and the stoner a lot. So, anyways, leave a like, leave a comment about my stats. If you guys like something about my stats, please let me know. So, I'll see you guys later, and subscribe for more.